Hi and welcome to another video review on its scale. This time we will present to you, inside the armor new set for Tecum kit in 1 16th scale, Renault FT17. Let's check what is inside. Be careful when opening plastic bag. Inside assembly instructions are sheet of photo etched parts. Detailing set includes Two resin idlers with wood grain details New resin cast steel brackets for tools and toolbox Resin gun and gun breech 49 photo etched parts including toolbox, tool straps and buckles, rifling for the gun and the gun shield plus others First, let's check assembly instructions Assembly instruction has 14 stages First step is replacing the idlers. Second step is assembly of toolbox from the photo etched parts. Toolbox from the kit isn't bad at all, has everything what's needed to be. But, if you are dedicated to details, this new one from inside the armor, is, must have. Toolbox on original tank was made from steel. Also, you can see wooden boxes on some FT tanks which are field modifications, due to the damage on the steel toolbox. Steel brackets for tools are casted in resin, tool straps and buckles are photo etched parts. Step 11 is assembly of metal canister from the engine compartment. Handle, straps and buckles will definitely look better with new photo etched replacements. Serial numbers which are found in certain parts of the tank, aren't casted on plastic parts so, inside the armor gave them like photo etched parts. Gun and gun breech, including gun shield on plastic parts have proper shape and dimensions. But if you want more from your kit, then resin replacements from the set is right thing. Edges are sharper, new photo etched gun shield and rifling for the gun will give much more reality to the model. Just follow the instructions. Now, let's check the photo etched parts. More detailed photos you will see on the end of this video. Here we can see toolbox and cover. All parts are etched well. With engraved lines where it should be bending. Straps and buckles. Gun shield does not need to bend but with the ball pen and grave reinforcement as described in the instructions. Here, we can see small part for the rifling of the cannon. Part needs to be bent in cylinder shape and then inserted in resin part of the cannon. This is step 13 in assembly instructions, and, by my opinion, very good idea from the producer. Metal barrel would certainly raise the price of this set. Resin parts. Let's first check the idlers. Beautifully casted, with sharp details. Instead flat surface like on original plastic part, idlers are with wood grain details. I can't say that plastic parts are wrong in dimensions or anything else. They are good. But. Idlers are originally made with wooden covers over metal ring wood has his texture. Small details brings model to life. I have bad camera. Hard to see fine wood grain details like this. So. I'll do a bit of wash over the idler surface so you can see better. In the meantime here is some reference images. Idlers in various stages of exploitation. On the end. FT tanks got metal cover on idler wheels instead wooden cover. But this is common for the machines after the war, and these modifications are not standardized, but each beneficiary country had their own ideas how to do it. In small plastic bag are resin steel brackets for tools and toolbox and gun and gun breech. Steel brackets are well casted and with sharp details. 
Some flash from the resin casting process must be removed, but it's just a bit. You can see more on the detailed images later. Gun and gun breech are improved, regarding two original plastic parts. Some reference images you can see on the screen. Dedicated to details, is the motto of the producer. If you are dedicated to details, don't miss the set. Well, this is all for this review. Now you will see detailed images of the parts. This set and excellent Takum kit is available on Inside the Armor online shop. Links are below the video. Our thanks to Chris and Inside the Armor, for the review sample. Don't forget to check our video review of the Takum FT-17 kit on the same channel and visit inscale.org for more reviews, build blogs, scale news, or just for fun. See you there.